taking coterminal angles, positive and negative, uh, and also we're going to do it in degrees and radians and all this and more in seven minutes or less. So let's get right to it. Remember, coterminal angle means that an angle that has the same terminal ray as another one. So let's do, uh, if you don't mind, let's do radians first. So just arbitrarily chose like 16 pi sevenths. And what I want to know is this. I want to know where is an angle that ends in the same place. So we look at the unit circle here really quickly. If you go all the way around the unit circle one time, it's pi. It's 2 pi. So if you were here and you went, you were here and you went from here all the way around, it's this angular value plus 2 pi. So that's what we're going to do. So when we're finding positive, we want to add 2 pi. And the problem with that is that, right? The problem with this is that this is not this is hard to add so remember we're gonna we're gonna add 2 pi the difference that, that we are gonna add 2 pi right now the way I'm gonna add this 2 pi is I'm gonna add it as 14 pi 7 that makes sense doesn't it because 14 over 7 is 2 and 2 times pi is 2 pi that's what we meant to add but this way we have common denominators here so we're just gonna add that and 16 plus 14 is 30 30 pi so 16 pi plus 14 pi is 30 pi sevenths. This is positive, so this is a coterminal angle to that, right? So this is our positive coterminal. If you want to find a negative coterminal angle, what you need to do is you need to subtract 2 pi. So here I'm going to subtract 2 pi. But here's the problem, and this is a problem, that 16 minus 14, 16 pi minus 14 pi is 2 pi. 2 pi sevenths. This is kind of a trick that some professors do on their students that you did what you were supposed to do. You su you sub here, you subtracted, right? So you subtract 2 pi, and you did that. You're like, oh, here's my answer. Yeah, but this is not negative. So you have to, you have to, add, you have to add or subtract in intervals of 2 pi. So I'm going to subtract another 2 pi. So minus 14 pi sevenths. 2 minus 14 is negative 12 pi over 7. And in fact, that's negative, so that's a negative coterminal angle, isn't it? Okay, so here's positive. So hopefully what you're getting from this is if you want to find a positive coterminal angle, you keep adding uh, intervals of 2 pi. And if you want a negative coterminal angle, you subtract 2 pi. Now this is radian measure. So here, we're in radians, right? How do I know it's radians? Because it is not a degree sign, and that's how you know. So here's another problem that might work for you. What if I took... What if we took 12 pi fifths? So 12 pi fifths, right, minus 2 pi, because we said uh, we're going to find, let's find positive first. So it's positive. So we're going to add 2 pi, aren't we? Problem again is that we have 2 pi over 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to convert this to the same denominator, and we're going to turn this into 10 fifths pi. 10 over 5 is 2, and 2 times pi is pi. Then we're going we're gonna to add those 12 pi plus 10 pi is equal to 22 pi fifths. We were looking for a positive coterminal angle, and we found one. When we do the negative, how do we do that? Start with our 12 pi fifths and do what? Exactly, we're going to subtract 2 pi. Remember, 2 pi is 360 degrees. One time around the circle is, is 2 pi. So we're going to subtract that. Remember, though, we said that this value right here is equal to 2 pi, so we're going to subtract 10 pi fifths, and this sucks because 12 minus 10, again, is 2 pi fifths. Well, that doesn't work well, does it? That whole 2 pi fifths thing doesn't work well. So we're going to have to subtract another 10 pi fifths, and by saying that we're going to subtract another 10 pi fifths, means we're going to go around the circle one more time in the negative direction, and that's going to give us negative 8 pi fifths. All right, so I think we've covered uh, radians, positive and negative coterminal angles, and you can do that forever. These are just the ones that are closest, um, but you could certainly do other ones. So if we had degrees, we might do something like this, and I guess I'll choose some simple examples. So I guess I'll, if you don't mind, find coterminal, find coterminal to, I don't know, 370 degrees. If I don't have this degree sign, remember you guys, if we don't have this degree sign, then we are in radian, so we have to use this sign. So if I want to find a positive coterminal angle, so we're going to do positive first, positive, we're going to add 2 pi, not now, now we're using degrees, and one time around the circle is 
360 degrees. And remember, just for 360 degrees is the same as 2 pi radians. All right? So add those two values together, and we get 730 degrees, and that's positive, so that's a positive coterminal angle. If we, when we want to find the negative, though, take the negative, so we take, start again at our angle, 370 degrees, and we're going to subtract 360 degrees, and that's going to give us 10 degrees, right? Again, your professor is trying to fool you because you did what he or she asked. You subtracted the 360 degrees, but it got you back to a positive angle, so you're going to have to do this again. You're going to have to subtract another 360 degrees, and now you're going to get negative 350 degrees, and again, now you have negative coterminal and a positive coterminal, okay? And some professors will ask for two of each. I always try to use the ones that are closest to the angular value. You don't have to do that. Last example, if you're still with me, I thank you for it. So coterminal, 135 degrees. If you don't mind, we'll start with positive again. So positive coterminal to this would be plus 360. 360 degrees, which gives us, what, 495, which gives us 495, keep me honest, degrees, right, 495. It is positive, so there's your positive coterminal. If you wanted a negative one, you take 135 degrees minus 360 degrees, which would equal negative 225 degrees. I'm checking because uh, our professor is asking us for negative coterminal. There is negative, right? And check mark so there's this is our negative right here okay all right you guys i hope it was helpful keep studying this stuff um really leads to something exceptionally cool but you got to stick with it so good luck and if I, something i can do to help please let me know